Poker Day, it's Poker Day, yeah, it's Poker Day, it's Poker Day! Southern Indiana, $200 deep stack, new event for them, uh, the last Saturday of the month. Let's get it. Let's go south to the border, baby, not a little heat. I could tell right then and there, she's lost control, she's got a habit, oh, yeah. She's a tiny little curry. Well, Andy registered with me, but he forgot his ID, so I'm not sure if at the table they'll ask you for your ID or not. So he ran to his car to see if it's out there. Hopefully everything works out and he can play the tournament too. It's, it'll be his first tournament in a while because he's usually a cash game player. But it's always good to have a sweat with another player in there. Do you ever get that feeling that you're being watched? Freaking owl, man, that's creepy. Okay, guys, we've been battling up and down, up and down, about an hour into it, and we get pocket eights in middle position. We're right back around starting stack. Under the gun, plus one, raises a small raise to 250 at a 50 100 blind level. Anytime it folds around to him, he's been making these small raises and it's been working well for him. He's been the most aggressive guy at the table so far. So in middle position, I just call set mining here. The small blind folds and the big blind called the 150 more. And the flop, I thought it as soon as I saw it. <laughs> and I know a lot of people have said it. I'm going to use my one time, do this one time and not again. But credit where credit's due, the flop was rather favorable. Support his channel at andrewneemey.com. The flop was 852 with two clubs. The two clubs weren't real favorable. We do not like the flush draw being out there. The big blind checked and under the gun continued for 350. Due to the flush draw, I wasn't just going to call. I wanted to put in a raise. So I put in a three bet to 900. Big blind folds and our villain calls 550 more. The turn is the nine of clubs, bringing any flush draws, they're flush. And to that, he checks. So with my hand, I'm gonna bet out and see if he happened to hit a flush, or maybe now he's on a different draw with a high club. And I bet 2,000. He didn't take too long, he called 2,000. And the river comes to a spades, giving us the full house. So now I hope he had a flush draw and hit his flush. He says, ah, oh, I'll check to ya, which is usually a sign of strength in what I've seen. So I feel like he's gonna call my bet. I just have to pick a number that he will call. I bet 3,500, about half pot. And he calls 3,500. I show my full house, eights over deuces, and he mucks. He said he had two pair, which would have been nines and deuces maybe, unless he had a small pocket pair. Another terrifying owl try to hopefully block the wind but I'm at first break I have 30k from the 25k starting stack I did dwindle down to about 22k with some bad play got up to 25k with some bad play and then show the hand that just happened where I got the boat to get me up to 32k is my peak so not so bad I'm doing good loving the tournament you know minus I think the rake at HSI they do put on a really good tournament but I just looked at the prize pool and I think it's $160 plus 40 plus the $20 add-on so that's like a 27% rake I think that's hard to beat in the long run um, so we're just hoping for a big one here uh, 
it sucks. There's not much offered around, you know, with the HSI and with the Evansville Tropicana. I know I don't have to play them, but I really want to play tournaments, so I got to play what I'm offered. Other than that, things are going good. Can't wait. My buddy is at my table, and he has about 35k right now. I'll update you guys in a couple more hours. When I go back, the blinds are going to be 200 or 100, 200 with an Annie. So I have 150 big blinds. Love this structure. There is only 42 people. But I don't think they advertise things very well. And as it keeps going, I think they're gonna start, you know, they'll build a bigger base towards it if they keep doing it monthly. A couple levels later, we get ace-queen off in the small blind. It folds around and the dealer limps. Being to my right all day hasn't been fun for him as I've been showing a little bit of aggression, more aggression than I usually do, so he hasn't been able to do a whole lot, I don't feel. On his buttons and his blinds, he's protected almost every single time people raise. So even though I don't have position, but to start out, I raise to 1100 to take position over from him. The big blind folds, and he calls 800 more. The flop comes 9-10-10 with two diamonds, giving us a backdoor flush draw. I decided to try to take it down right away and bet 1300. He calls 1300. The turn brings the jack of hearts, which now gives us an open-ended straight draw, but takes away our backdoor flush draw. I just check with some bad intentions. He bets out 2000. I decide to Almost min raise on the come out, hoping for my straight to 5,000. You can tell he's getting frustrated, but he calls 3,000 more. And the river brings the big blank, a three of spades. So now we have ace high. There's only one way to win this hand. He only has 12,000 behind him. I'm eyeing out of the corner of my eye. I make a bet of 7,000, and I'm really sweating, hoping he's gonna fold this hand. I don't wanna have to report this back to you guys. But after quite the tank, he puts his hands up and then he folds. And we take down our sweatiest pot of the day so far. And just one full orbit later, I have queen ten of spades on the button. The player from last hand's in the cutoff and he raises to 1200. I call 1200 and both the blinds fold. The flop is 10 8 4 rainbow to which he checks, and with my top pair, I bet out 1300. He raises to 4000. I can tell he's, he's tired of it, he's gonna win this hand. But I see he only has a 5000 chip behind him, with top pair, and, and over. Let's see what he has. So I raise to 10,000 to put him all in, which he calls, and he flips over ace five off for not much. I just have to fade an ace, or running cards. The turn's a king, and the river's an eight, and we bust a player. And another orbit later, we get four deuce in the big blind. Usually not a hand you want to get tangled up with, but it folded around, and the small blind, who's the guy who was making all the small raises early on, is down in his luck, and puts in his last 1700 total. So that's 1300 more to me to win 2500. I'm up against any random hand. I would, won't be doing well, but with my bigger chip stack at the time, in order to knock a player out, what the heck. So I make the call. And the flop's king 6-3, giving me a gut shot straight draw. I can't feel too bad about that. The turn's a four giving me the nuts, and the river's a five. Completes the unnecessary straight, and we bust another player. We're starting to look like a bully. Getting deeper up to the 250-500 level with the 75 ante. On the button with ace-king off. The hijack goes all in for 19k, which is 38 big blinds. 
This guy played hands early on and was hitting sets. I did not see him get out of line at all, and he's been pretty snug the last few hours. So I'm suspicious right away as to what his holding may be. I think it's a big pocket pair. But while I'm thinking about what to do with my ace king, you know, do I want to risk all the chips I just, you know, grinded out to be close to starting again? The guy in the big blind two over is a good guy to have at the table. A talker, but not in the annoying way. He was trying to be funny, and he was pretty funny. But anytime he was going to fold a hand, he'd... At, before the action got to him, his hands would be on his cards. He'd be ready to fold. And I'm looking at him to see what he's going to do if I were to call. And he has his hands crossed over his mouth. So he he's looking like he has a serious decision on his hands. With that and the other guy being snug as of late, let it go. Who's booing? Who's booing in the comments right now? <laughs> So they flip him over. The original razor shows queen 10. Surprise. <laughs> and the big blind shows pocket aces. The run out was pretty much rags. It didn't help anybody. And I made the hero fold of the moment. Patting myself on the back. All right, second break. I'm at 53K. The last hand before break. I had pocket sixes and limped in for 500 and a guy in late position raised to 3,500. I thought about it and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to break. Anytime I get tangled up in a break hand, it never works out. One lady called the 3,000 more for her and the flop was 6, 5, 10. So I would have flopped the set. He bet she folded. I probably would have made some monies there. Oh well playing really good reads are really good I'm still probably not making correct bet sizes but I think I am improving there so cool there's only 30 people left and only four pay which is kind of silly with 46 entrants you figure they pay five so less than 10% get paid over 3k up top we're taking this one down still grinding away we're almost to a hundred big blind stack I wake up in middle position with pocket kings. A lady who had just sat down sometime in the level before or so when the queen 10 guy busted. She had a big stack. She had me covered. She raised to 1600. When it got to me, I three bet to 4300. The blinds folded and she made the call. Good flop. King, queen, seven. But two spades out there. She led out. 4300 my raise I could three bet here but I feel like that would just be way too strong she'd know what I have and I wouldn't be able to get any more money later so I just make the call turned out to be a risky play because the turn was a five of spades which would complete a flush she checked I'm thinking if I bet out here I'm likely to get raised if she has a flush so we'll see I bet 11k she thinks a little bit and calls the 11k the river's the three of hearts, and she makes another confusing play and bets out 8K. So now I'm thinking she has a flush. I count out the chips, and it would leave me with 22K, which would be more than enough to maneuver around if I make this call, if she has a flush. I could raise her, but I feel like, I really feel like she had a flush, and I'm about to raise and be shown the flush and be out of the tournament. Because if I were to raise, I'd raise it all. So I just make the call, and I show my set of kings, and she tried to show. It was weird. She was trying to flip them over, but they flipped upside down, and then she tried to pick them up, and she couldn't get them picked up, so she finally just pushed them in. I think she had a big hand, but my set was good. We won a good pot, even though I stumbled along the way there. I know I haven't made a video in almost a month, and I feel awful because of it. I did make a crappy video, you know, just trying to be a YouTuber here. <laughs> But I don't want you guys to run away just yet. I'm going to keep it with the strong poker content. I have no way of reaching out to you guys except for Twitter. So I made a poll and it was, would you rather see one long vlog or two shorter vlogs or cat videos? And the two shorter vlogs won, so I decided to break this video up. Please subscribe, give it a big thumbs up, comment below on any of the hands. I appreciate you guys 
and I will see you in a couple of days, maybe tomorrow, when I can post the second half of this vlog. I recommend the people.